Hi guys, it's me, Professor D, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. On this video, I'm going to be covering fractures. This is going to be a multi-part series. Now, before we get started, as always, I'm going to ask you to please support me and support this channel by liking this video. Give it a thumbs up now so you don't forget you're going to love the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And don't forget, I'm now offering next generation NCLEX reviews. You can book your spot for a review or if you'd like a one-on-one -on -one tutoring session or a consultation, maybe you just need advice about something, you can reserve your spot by going to my website, nexusnursinginstitute.com. Almost daily, you can find me covering a variety of nursing topics, so be sure to check out my Instagram, my Facebook, my TikTok, and my handle, the same everywhere, Nexus Nursing. So guys, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to talk about bone fractures. What is a bone fracture? It's a break in the bone. That's exactly what it is. If you take a look here, it says a fracture is a disruption or break in the continuity of a bone. Now we have open fracture and closed fracture. So open fracture is when the skin is broken, the bone is exposed. A closed fracture is when that bone is broken, but the skin remains intact. That bone is not protruding through the skin. So with just knowing this information, guys, who do you think would be at higher risk for infection? Someone with a closed fracture or someone with an open fracture? Someone with an open fracture, because again, when someone has an open fracture, the skin is broken, the bone is exposed, so there is a much higher chance for pathogens to enter and for the patient to get infection. Let's take a look at clinical manifestations. Right here, it says clinical manifestations of fracture include immediate localized pain. Your body's going to try to survive no matter what. So your body's going to be screaming for help. That's screaming for help. That's the pain, okay? So localized pain, that pain's going to be at the area where the fracture is. Decreased function, where that uh, bone is broken, they're not going to be able to use that area. Inability to bear weight. If, you know, if that fracture is on the tibia or fibula, they're not going to be able to um, bear weight on 